Hello friends, welcome back to our channel, Love for Animals and today's video is a topic which is ignored yet important about your pets. It's about how to cut your dog's nails. Trimming of nails is very much important for your dogs. Your pets or they may be strays. They cannot cut their nails or trim their nails on their own. So, it needs your help to help them trim their nails in a proper shape. So, here's what you must require for your dog nail trimming. A nail trimmer and a nail shapener or a nail grinder can be used. Few things must be learned before using your trimmer. This is the blood supply. This is the quick region and this is the enamel region where we will trim. Quick region between the blood supply ending and starting of the enamel. And this is the main blood supply. This is the power pad of the talc. Blood supply in short nails. Blood supply gets longer as the nail grows. You can see the nail is growing and so is the blood supply. If you clip little bit, little by little every few days, the blood supply gets shorter and continues to be reduced. See, these arrows are first day, then after two days gapping again over here you will cut, then again three days gapping over here you will cut and so will this blood supply getting reduced and reduced. Ultimately it will become like this short nail. Now here is how to cut it. This is the cut line. The cut over here is between the blood supply and the nail cut over here will lead to bleeding which is wrong we must not do this then over here just below the quick region we will cut so here you will see no bleeding and the blood supply will get shorter and shorter this is the right method right line of trimming wrong line of trimming The nails are reaching the ground. So, the nail touches the surface. Time to clip the nails. Extra long nails, it hurts and penetrates the power pads. You can see the extra long nails. This nail cannot touch the ground. So, it gets very long faster because it doesn't get any friction with the floor. It gets very fastly long and it may penetrate the power pads and may bleed in your dogs. It's very hard to cut this, cut this kind of nails. So, it's better you trim in this stage than in this stage. You can see the nails are entering the power pads. It hurts the dog, dog very badly. This is the correct nail which we must have with every trim. After trimming or with regular trimming, you will achieve this kind of nails. It is not touching the floor. The nail is properly trimmed. Nail must not exceed the power pads. As soon as you see the nails are exceeding the power pads, it's time to trim the nails. Get your dog familiarized with the nail cutter or nail trimming so that they get so much used to with this thing that when you cut their nails means when the time of trimming comes they are no more scared or over excited or in palpitating they may not do that thing because every day before the trimming process you have to just get the nail cutter bring it in front of your dog let it sniff that it's okay to be around the this the trimmer. It's nothing which will hurt you. So give the nail cutter and with that give them treats so that they associate it 
associate this thing with a positive thing that by whenever this trimmer comes they get a reward whenever this trimmer comes they get a reward and it's nothing negative it's positive get your dog in a place which is not over excited place like not in park or not on the terrace of your home just in a confined place where you can control your dog and your dog will be feeling safe
the best guys. Have a good night and dreaming day. If any more questions which is not cleared in this video, ask in the comment below. I will answer them in the description box. I will give the links of all the things whichever I have used in this video and watch the next videos. If you like this kind of videos, do consider subscribing to my channel. Below there is a red button. Give the like, share 